Over the years, I've gone from machines on a shelf to racking machines in an open rack to centralizing everything and racking it in an enclosed 36U rack to what I am building now, and it's this 12U closed rack. It's a smaller version of my 36U rack with a few changes that make this the perfect rack for a small office, home office, or even just at home. But is it right for you? Let's check it out and see. This is the SysRax 12U 24-inch wall mount 19-inch enclosed server rack. It measures almost 24 inches wide, almost 24 inches deep, and almost 25 inches tall. It's a standard 19-inch rack, and if you're wondering why they call it a 19-inch rack, 19-inch refers to the mountable width of servers and equipment. It's made of steel but has a powder coat finish in either gray or black. It has two brush panels with cable managers at the top and bottom to help with cable management and block dust from coming in. All around the enclosure, you're going to see lots of perforated edges, especially around the front doors. This helps to passively cool the entire enclosure. It also includes active cooling with this top 120 millimeter fan module that connects to any standard outlet. Now, some models, especially the larger units like my 36U rack, come with temperature control units, but I opted to keep this one simple and will probably add temperature sensors and smart switches to control a fan if it ever gets to that point. Wait. I thought I said it was keeping this simple. Speaking of power, it also comes with a PDU where you can plug in up to eight devices and has a secure on and off switch covered in a detachable cap. On the back, we can see wall mounting hooks, which makes this easy to wall mount if you choose to do so, but I'm choosing to attach some casters to it so I can move it around freely in my office if I need. The back panel is attached with screws, but can be easily removed if needed. On each side, we have locking removable panels that can help you secure your enclosure and prevent anyone from getting in while still giving you access to get inside and make adjustments to your equipment. Coming around to the front, we have this nice glass door that has perforated edges on the side and has a handle that can also be locked if needed. I like having a glass panel door because it lets me easily see inside to check on all of my equipment. Plus, it looks really cool with blinky lights. Inside the rack has four posts to rack up to 12U of equipment, making it great for small servers, networking equipment, DVRs, AV equipment, and anything else that can fit into a 19 inch short depth rack. It also comes with the shelf for equipment. However, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it yet. Putting this rack together was much easier than my 36U rack. You can do it alone, but it might help to have someone there for the very first step, and that's putting together the frame. Don't worry though, I was able to manage it alone. After securing the frame, you'll then need to mount all of the posts so you can rack your equipment. Before you go too far, like I did, if you're going to use the supplied shelf, be sure to adjust the posts so that you can mount the shelf later if needed. The back panel can then be attached with a few screws. While I would have loved to see a door like on the 36U model, it makes sense for this to be a panel since it's also wall mountable. The sides are removable and you can easily pop them in and out with these clips. It also comes with a lock and key to secure it if you like. This model supports both legs and casters. However, it only ships with legs. So if you're going to use casters too, you'll need to pick some up or buy them separately. I did choose to go with casters because I want to move this around the room when needed. The casters lock in place and are very secure. Like so secure that I didn't even worry one bit about assembling this on top of my workbench. Attaching the front door is pretty easy too. It is a little bit challenging using the shims to get the door to hang just right, but I figured it out after a couple of minutes. Now, I love the look of the rack, and I think that the perforated edge and glass give this a premium look and feel. The door has a handle to keep the door shut, and it can also be locked with the included keys. So once it's all put together, it's pretty easy to work on this and get inside the rack when it's empty. There's plenty of room to work on everything that I plan on installing. You can see the vents on the top for cables as well as the fan for cooling. So I'm glad I have a fan. However, it doesn't have a switch to easily toggle it on and off. So I'll just end up wiring up some smart switches and put a temperature control inside if I really ever need to turn this fan on. So now that it's all assembled, it's now time to install some equipment. I started out by installing my Unify 24 port PoE switch. This was a switch that I replaced in my other rack, but decided to hang on to it for this rack. I don't think I'll be using all 24 ports here in my office, but it's better than buying another switch. As you can see, I'm using rack studs for the install. Rack studs reached out to me and sent me a few packs of studs, including their new 1U rack studs. These are awesome and simple to use. You just squeeze them, pop them in, and then hook up your devices. 
These new 1U rack studs are great for 1U devices, like my Switch and my PDU that I put in the back. But then I decided to put them to the test. I wanted to rack up my UPS and that thing weighs 22 pounds and only has rack ears in the front rather than front and back. So I installed the UPS and tightened all four up using their combo pack studs and so far so good. The rack studs are able to hold the UPS in place without issue and even without sagging. Oh, and I wasn't paying attention when racking my UPS and I racked it upside down, which I then quickly flipped around after noticing but it was super simple to reattach with rack studs. If you're interested in the ones I use, I'll have some links below in the description. After installing my UPS, the network switch, and my PDU, I took a step back and took a look at the rack. It's a really nice option for short depth items. Not to mention that you can use shells for anything that can't be rack mounted natively. I'm really impressed by the build quality and attention to detail, the glass door, and all of the other features, especially at the price. At just $210, I was expecting a lot less, but what I got was a perfect rack for my office. At this price, I can't think of anything I would change. Well, maybe the paint job. Make a matte instead of a high gloss option. That would be pretty awesome. Matte black and matte gray, or even white. This is going to house a few projects coming up, so be sure you're subscribed to see what else I'm gonna throw in this rack. Got some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> well, I learned a ton about racking smaller components, building a mini rack, and I hope you learned something too. And remember, if you found anything in this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.